Hi, we like to talk about TV, films and comics on this channel and today we're going to talk about a library edition book from Dark Horse called Lady Killer. Lady Killer is a library edition book from Dark Horse by Joelle Jones. Um, it is written and drawn by her. Um, the people who do the colours are put down in the bottom of the screen on the lower third. Um, it follows a housewife in the 60s who is not all that she seems. Um, you meet her initially doing a sort of Avon call and then she, <laughs> she kills the person she's um, visiting. Um, what you'll find with this book as soon as you open it is that the artwork is amazing. Um, the library edition format really makes the artwork pop. It's got a very unique style, um, the colours make it look really good as well as all the line work as well. Um, it's the kind of book where I think if you had it in a smaller format it just wouldn't be as good. Um, the story follows her as she has to try and balance a normal sort of 1960s housewife life with being a assassin um, and things quickly start to fall apart because of the nature of her work. Um, she faces misogyny and things like that and her mother-in-law who lives with them is already suspicious of her behaviours um, and the story um, moves on from there to having to make some decisions as her family life deteriorates. I'm trying not to ruin it too much. Um, it's split into two parts. The first part is um, one contained story and then the second part is its own self-contained story but you really need to read the first part first which you would do if you had this book. Um, now looking at the book itself um, it's the library edition format so it's larger than even a deluxe or omnibus sized book. Um, it feels great in the hand, it feels like a quality well-made book. Um, you don't get a dust jacket or anything but you do get the um, sort of page keeper ribbon with it which I always like with these books and it feels very high quality. The pages are thick, like really thick, like so thick that you feel you've probably got two pages stuck together or you've missed and you've missed something in the story and you have to keep checking. It, it, the artwork has got a sort of matte look to it but it's a very clean matte look, it doesn't look sort of newspaper, it's very clean and um, fresh looking uh, and it really works for these the art style that you've got here. Um, the binding is great, it has zero gutter loss on this book whatsoever um, and it feels like it's going to hold together for a long time. I think you can see that it's sewn in and you can just feel the quality as you turn through it. Um, for the price of this I got this for about 20, 23 pounds something like that. Um, I'll put a price screen up as to what it's currently going for. Um, it's totally worth getting. Even if you've never read or seen anything by Joelle Jones, she does a Catwoman um, book that I want to get and read because I've had a look at that on Comixology and it's good. Um, in addition to doing the art on the Supergirl Being Super book that I re reviewed on this channel um, not so long ago. Um, you know, she really does artwork that pops when it's in the right in the right story. Um, the story itself is really um, fun and it's a super quick read because you want to read it. Every time you turn a page you think, wow, that's great. Um, you get a little bit in the way of extras in the back, you get some covers, sketches, things like that. Um, but really this is a book where every page, to be honest, could be its own poster. Um, can't talk highly enough about it. If you want something different for your collection, if you want a sort of prestige book format book, and you don't want to pay a lot of money whatsoever for it, then Lady Killer is certainly worth getting. I don't know if there's going to be any more um, adventures from this uh, character and um, the, the door certainly open for it because she sort of starts her own business in the last story uh, but ultimately if, even if there are no other adventures this is a great read on its own and I cannot recommend it highly enough to be to anyone to get it and to think that I left this um, unread for a few weeks um, when it's so great. Um, look, let me know your thoughts on it. Maybe you think there's not enough plot to it. Maybe you think it's a bit too light. Um, if you've had any problems with the book, let us know because I'm sure other people would want to know as well, you know, if the bindings come apart or something like that. Um, otherwise, please feel free to give us a thumbs up and please feel free to like and subscribe to the channel.